They were amazing then as well. They were great. Apparently there is a connection between Rick's family and your family, isn't there? What's what's all that about? I used to work for his uncle, his uncle Nobby, on the Evening Standard. And um, my old man was was mates with Dick, who's Ricky's dad. They used to play cars. They used to have a regular card school around the Workingmen's Club. The Working Workingmen's Club in Morton Road. And um, so that was the connection, really. You know, we knew their family, Lil and Dick. And and Nobby, like I said, he was the the sort of faking of Woking. <laughs> but um, but you know, Rick Rick was lovely. You know, he's just you know, he's a nice man. You know, I mean, I'm sure we just want to get all gushing on your documentary, but he was good to us, and he lent us equipment and just generally positive, and you know, and uh, encouraging. Uh, he was just really cool, you know. So I mean, I don't know if we were like in awe of him. I suppose there's that element of um, fucking there is someone who's actually made it and he's done it and he's that much older than us and all that stuff, you know. But he's not that sort of fellow to make you feel win or anything. He's just a really down to earth fellow, isn't he? And um, and he he lent us a few bits and pieces, a few bits of equipment, some of which he got back, some of which he some of which he didn't. I remember he lent us this amp, which was kind of had a sort of weird sort of metal encasing thing on it. Which um, which we never got back to, and it just fucking rusted after a while. But I can remember us going down the A3 one day on the way to London doing a gig, and Rick was coming down the other side, <laughs> and him saying, "Where's up? Where's my amp?" We're like, "No, you'll get it back. You'll get it back." But he never did. Sorry, mate. 